Good morning. Eric and I just woke up, so we thought it'd be the perfect opportunity to show you our morning skincare routine, which Eric is very new to. Um, we do follow the general 10-step Korean skincare guide, but using the products that we have at hand. So it's my second time. Yeah, it's Eric's second yesterday. time doing it. Um, and hopefully he'll memorize it by today. Gorgeous skin already. So. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So, voila, our hair is all pinned up. Um, first thing we're gonna do is clean our face with an oil-based cleanser. I've been using the Shu Amura skin purifier for a while. Um, it's really gentle on the skin. Growing up, I would use like the store-bought cleaners, and they always like stripped my skin and left it really irritated. So you want to gently rub in circles. Compared to like, what's the difference between like this and like soap? <laughs> is this coming from somebody who's been washing his face with soap and water for his entire life? Not gonna lie, I was doing that for a long Sometimes time. Sometimes just water. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of differences. It's a lot softer in your skin, don't you feel? Uh -huh. And it actually gets into there and cleans out all the dirt in your pores. So next off, we're gonna be using a water-based cleanser. Lately, I've been using this Kiehl's that's the French side. I've been using this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. So you're gonna splash some water in your face. And then you're gonna throw on some of the Ultra Facial Cleanser onto your fingers. Gentle circular motion. Oh, the pimple right there. Next, we're supposed to have our exfoliant. Um, lately, I have been using this Goop exfoliant, but I did it recently, so I don't want to irritate my skin again. I usually only do this once a week. Sometimes I'll use this uh, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Exfoliating Cleanser, so it kind of acts like a two-in-one step. Next off, we're using Kiehl's Ultra Facial Toner, which I've been using for a long time, and you might have seen in my uh, Get Ready With Me's. What is Mix it? in your hands, pat, toner. It neutralizes the pH in your face. <laughs> After toner, we have essence. So we're using this Claude Lee Paris essence, concentrated brightening essence. Mm. essence. And you're gonna do the same thing as you did with the toner. Pat. Once you're done with that, we're gonna put on serum. So this is the same brand, Claude Lee Paris, their Radiance Serum, Complexion Enhancing. Mm. So now that we're done the serum, this is when we would usually do the mask. Um, I think we only, I only usually do masks like once every two weeks, but our friend Philip was so generous, he bought us these like BTS, BTS face masks. Wow. We're going to so try it. Look like BTS after this. Guaranteed. I know, our skin better be as nice as theirs. So slimy. Okay. <laughs> the struggle's so real. So to smooth it out? Mm, yeah. And then we're gonna use the remnants of whatever's in here and we're gonna put it in our neck. Right. No wasting. No wasting. My dad would be so proud of me. So we're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes. Um, we'll be right back. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. Um, we're gonna take off our masks. And then we're gonna wipe. Our face is still a little oh, wet. Dry. So, while we wait for it to dry, we're gonna brush our teeth. So after the mask, you're supposed to put your eye cream on. I've been using this Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment as a blight. So you're gonna put on... Oh, the under a, the eye. Yeah, so put a little bit onto your fingers. That's last time, Yeah, last time you got way too That's much. That's not on mine? Sure. That's too much? That should be good. Just rub gently. And then the last step is your creams. So I have this Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I've been using a lot of Kiehl's lately. Last step already? Yeah, wow. already. So we're gonna throw some onto your hand, don't mix yet. Okay. Oh yeah, I always mix pre preemptively, unless it gets mad at me. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some onto your hand. I'm throwing you need SPF, SPF is a must. Oh I... 
dude. You even told yourself not to mix. I wasn't even thinking. I was just doing it. So I'm going to throw it onto this. Does it matter? So I'm creating a, like, a concoction almost. And then I'm using this Giorgio Armani face fabric, which gives you a teeny tiny wow. bit of coverage. I now mix have something enough? that looks like no. that. We're going to mix with our hands. And you're going to pat everywhere. And then any excess goes onto your neck. I like how like sticky my skin is at this point. I think this is like the perfect time to put Does makeup on. Does it like on. affect your makeup when you have all this stuff on your face? I don't know. My skin feels good. Oh. That's all that matters. So we'll be right back. I feel and... like a million bucks. Do you? I feel like I look amazing. <laughs> so we'll be back in like 10 minutes when we get ready. 10 minutes. Chin chin! Chin chin! We're done. So how's your skin feeling at the end of it all? It feels, really, it feels good. feels hydrated. Kind of like a baby's bum. Feels like a little like moist, I guess. Mm -hmm. Kind of like we're in like a tropical country, even though we're really in Alberta where it's really dry. So yeah, that's the end of our skincare routine. Hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. See you guys next time. See you in the next video, guys. Bum, 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 bum.